Hello and welcome to Sudokanar. Here is an upload fortress Sudoku that I created a few months ago and I published it at the time on Logic Masters Deutschland under the name Modura, which is another of my nicknames. And the special rule here is that this squiggly wiggly region is the same as this one, meaning that this digit is the same as this this digit is the same as this, and so on. So that's the first special rule, and the special rule is that those regions are also fortresses, which means that whenever you have a shaded cell next to an unshaded cell, then the bigger digit must be in the shaded cell. So this is bigger than that, this is bigger than that, this is bigger than that. And of course, nothing can be said about which is the biggest between those two digits, or those two digits for that matter. So where do we start? Well, a place of interest is obviously this 6, which must be lower than both digits here. And those digits can't be 7, so this is an 8-9 pair. And this 8-9 pair is resolved by this 8, so that's a 9, and that's an 8. And we can clone those digits here. So that's the easy part. Now, where do we look next? And a good place to look is those clone digits here. Because this digit here can't be in any of those cells here. So it must appear somewhere there. Let's use some color. So this, we'll, we'll have to remember that those cells are fortress cells, so they must be bigger than their unshaded uh, neighbors. So this digit is in on none of those cells and must appear somewhere here. Now, what are the options? We can see that this digit is bigger than this and that. So this digit can't ever be, well, it's bigger than this and that, and it's not one, and it's and those digits are bigger than 1, so the minimum value of those digits is 2 and 3, so this is at least 4. But it's not a 4, so it's at least a 5. And it's not a 6, it's not a 7, so the only options are 5, 8 and 9. But now, this digit appears somewhere here. So it can't be a 3 or 2, it's in one of those cells. But you can see that those two cells here both see an 8 and they both see a 9. So none of those two cells can contain an 8 or a 9. And that's interesting because it means that none of those cells can contain an 8 or a 9, so they must be 5s and I can remove the coloring. So that's the intended logic to really launch the soul. Now, where do we look next? Well, I said something about eight and nine, actually. Eight can't be in any of those cells, so there must be an eight here or there, and nine must be here or there. And that should play a part at some point. This 5 has lower digits here, which are mainly 2, 3, or 4. Here that's lower than 5, so it's 1 or 3, and here that's 2 or 3, because there's a 4 here. Next, where do we look? What can this be? This is mirrored in this cell. And we see that it can't be 1, 3, 7, 5, 9, so it's an even digit. It can't be an 8, it can't be a 2, it can't be a 6, so that's 4. That's the only option for this digit. And those digits now must be lower than 4. This one is not 2, so it's 1 or 3. This one is not 3, it's 1 or 2. This is not a 1, so it's a 2 or a 3. 
And this digit here must appear somewhere there. Could it be a 3? Bigger than this 2? No, there would be no possible value for this. So this digit here doesn't appear here. It must be somewhere here. But there again, this is neither 1 nor 3, and 2 here would have no value for a lower cell here. So the second 2 or 3 must be here, and it can't be a 2, so that's a 3. That's 2, that's a 3, that's 1. And the remaining values here are 5, 6, and 7. So this is cloned there, so it has to be a 5. And this here is cloned in this cell, so it has to be a 7. And that's a 6. What about this? This is mirrored here. And let's look at the remaining values. So it can't be 3, 7, 6, 4, or 9. So it's 1, 2, 5, or 8. But 1 and 2 are impossible because this must be bigger than this and that. So it can't be 1 or 2. That's 5 or 8. All right. And actually, <laughs> I've been missing this, but with those fives, we see that five in this box can only be in this cell. So that's a five. And that's all for the clone parts. Now let's use the fortress part. This must be lower than five, and it's not two, three, nor four by two. So that's a one. That's lower than five, can't be one or three, so that's two or four. Those are lower than five. This can only be one, two, or four. And the same is true for this. This must be lower than 5, can't be 4, so it's 1, 2, or 3. This can only be 1 or 3. And this is 2, 3, or 4. And we get here a 2, 3, 4 triple. So this here is a 6, 8, 9 triple. But that's not 8. That's not 9. Uh, at this point, all values here are possible. There's a 1 in those, sorry about that, there's a 1 in those cells, so that's not a 1. And on this row, 8 can only be here. There must be a 6 somewhere here. And then this column still needs a 9. It needs 2, 5, 6, or 9, so this is 2 or 5, this is 2 or 6, this is 2 or 9 as well, but this is 2, 6, or 9, and so 5 has to be here. This, can, this row needs 1, 2, 3, and 4, so this is 2 or 3, 1, 2, 4, one, two, four. This column needs an eight. It has to be here. This is one, two, or four. This needs a seven somewhere. And then, so the rest should be plain to the view. In this column, we need 2, 3, 7, and 9. This row needs 2, 5, 6, and 8. So this is a 5. And there's a 2 in one of those two cells. This row needs 7, 8, and 9. So this is 7 or 9, 7 or 8, 8 or 9. And this here has to be a 4. That's the, the only place to contain a 4 in this box, so that's not 4. We get one 2 pair here. 
There has to be a 6 somewhere here, so that's not 6. And the candidates are 6, 7, and 8. That's not 4. Because of this, there has to be a 3 somewhere here. Because there's a 1, 2, 3 pair here. So 3 must be here. And with this 3, it allows us to place a 3 here. And I get a 1, 2, 4 triple here. So that's a 3, and that's a 9, and that's a 6. This can only be 3 or 4. That's not the 9. And we get a 2, 7 pair here. The remaining cells must contain 1, 8, and 9. But that's not 8. I get a 1, 2, 9 triple. That's a 7. This can only be 4 or 6. This is 3, 4, or 6. This row has a... not sure what. This now can only be 7 or 9. There must be a 7 somewhere here. That's here. And this is 6 or 9. So now I, I must probably be missing something really simple. And this something really simple could be, could have to do with fortresses. No, that's not about fortresses. So that must be, well, this one can't be here. This six here can't be here. This three can't be here. I'm definitely missing an easy elimination. I'm positive that there's no special exotic Sudoku technique involved here. I'm just missing something really simple and I'm just not seeing what in typical canal fashion. Yes, that's it. In this box, there's a 9. 9 must be here. So this is not 9, that's 8. And that gives me a lot of other digits. That's 4, that's 1, that's 9. That's 2, that's 4, that's 6, that's 9. And now the puzzle is cracking open. I'm not sure. What I said makes sense, but I said it. That's a four, that's a two, that's a one, that's a two. Here, that's a one. That's seven, that's two, that's eight. Nine, seven, six. That's a seven, that's a nine, that's a six, that's an eight. Six, nine. And eight, and ta-da! That's it. So that finishes the solve of this puzzle that I created uh, that I created a few months ago under the combined uh, the combined rules of clone Sudoku and Fortress Sudoku. And that really, the core of it was the logic of the geometry. The combined logic of geometry with the impact of this digit, which had to appear somewhere here, which excluded 8 and 9, and the, with, so this logic combined with the fortress logic, which prevented this digit from being too low, and so only 5 remained, and the rest was more straightforward, I think. Thanks for watching this video and see you soon on Sudokana.